Hey guys, the objective with this video is to introduce you to the beam element and compare that to the truss element. We're then going to be looking at the two different types of loading you can get on a beam element and then I'm going to quickly go through the method of solving this. Um, but we're going to do actual numerical examples in later videos. So first of all, the beam element. So we know a beam can look something like this. Now because we're doing a course in structural analysis, we're more concerned about beams which would normally be um, structurally indeterminate. So this is such a beam when you have it's called a, a propped cantilever. So you can solve this with um, simple mechanics or structural and um, structural mechanics. So a beam element, unlike a truss element. So a truss element, say we were looking something like this, and a truss element could only handle axial forces, right? So when you've got something with axial compression or tension, you have to use the truss element. With the beam element, the beam element can only handle shear or vertical forces and moments. So those are my, those are my two degrees of freedom going pointing up and here are my two other degrees of freedom which are moments and we would label them one, two, three, four. So one being the force pointing up, two being the degree of freedom there, three being the degree of freedom pointing up and four being the degree of freedom as a moment and we'd have a location vector obviously going from there to there, one, two, three, four. So as I say, the beam element can only handle moment and shear. So for example, we might, we're going to be dealing with the types of loading in a second, but just for an example, we might have something like a UDL here, which would cause um, a shear at the supports and potentially moments. But if we now say, come and put an axial load there, we can't, we can no longer use the beam element because the beam element doesn't account for axial loading. We'll be doing that in the next video with, where we look at the um, frame element which handles all three, but don't worry about, about that for now. So once